As you know, Android 13 is finally here. The beta 1, beta 2, and now today they release Android 13, beta 3. But in this video, I'm going to talk about something different here. We're not going to install or we're not going to make a review of Android 13, beta 3 changes or which are the new things which you have with Sikta. Yes, I'll talk about that for sure. But I'm going to talk about that you can install Android 13, beta GSI right now on your device. By the way, the method I'm using here is actually for only dynamic partition devices, which means you can see all the new devices for example redmi note 10 pro redmi note 9 pro even that should support to mi 11x and there are many other devices too let me show you some things here by the way it's actually aosp kind of aosp it's not pixel one so as you can see the pixel gms on arm 64 this is the gsa i'm using the gsa which i tried here i'll provide you the link for that one for sure and other than else if i move on to the th features or etc it is actually android 13 style in vibration and haptics you have extra options to customize which you have in android 13 same like that if i move on to this option always show icon when in vibrate mode that option is also present which was which is only available android 13 in beta 2 maybe it was available if i move on to the display settings we have the display size and text options and all these things are already present which means all the android 13 features are already there because i'm using android 13 and by the way i'm using android 13 beta 3 so as beta 3 changes are also there which are the exact changes which you have in android 13 beta 3 the video is actually coming very very soon so stay tuned and make sure to subscribe the channel let me show you by enabling the gesture navigation this is the biggest change and according to my preference i will say this is one of my favorite features ever finally google brought it to you the navigation bar pill size is now changed and as you can see let me show you once again the pill size is now increased the pill thickness is also now increased which will give you the feeling of iOS style pill and you don't need to customize it anymore for example in custom rooms etc that's available by default in pixel android 13 and all the android 13 based kind of things as you can see i'm using gsi on my right hand i have android 12.1 installed and this is a default pill and in my left hand we have android 13 beta 3 where the pill is actually changed according to me or my preference i just love this feature i'll talk about this feature later on for sure and let me just disable that contrast text in this settings option let me show you by moving into display we have display size and text high contrast text let me just turn it off as i as i just did it and of course other than else things are basically same and this is what i was using dynamic system updates even if your bootloader is locked you can use it this dsu loader option from developer options if it is working for you but yes if your device is rooted you can use the dsu side loader and this is what i'm using right now the absolutely good tutorial the useful tutorial for dsu side loader how you can use that to install gsi on your device i have a specific video already available which is what is dynamic side loader or dynamic dsu kind of thing let me show you once after installation of this and let me just me restart my device right now to this the default customer which i'm using here the gsa which i installed was based on Corvus OS, on, uh, which I tried on Corvus OS. So the Corvus OS vendor works in Redmi Note 10 Pro. If you're a user of Redmi Note 10 Pro or Pro Max and want to install Android 13 GSI, you can install right now with the help of DSU side loader running Corvus OS latest version. Go and install it if you want to. And this is DSU side loader, which I was using to install Android 13 on my device. You simply need to select the GSI file. The GSI file could be or uh, could have been in IMG or 7-zip or XZ or GZ, whichever extension it has. You can use that if you want to, and you can you are good to go. And how to use this, how to install GSI. I made a specific video already, and the tutorial video is already there. So this is all. Thanks for watching, and I think you like this video. Don't forget to like and share this. I'll see you next video. Goodbye.